to ask you first of all about the online safety bill uh, because uh, that we'd learned that we're going to lose that phrase uh, legal but harmful labor still thinks that that should be in the bill don't they yes we do why we're worried about we're worried that this is weakening weakening the bill and that content such as anti-semitic content or racist content can still too easily go well, unchecked. Well, no, no, but that's illegal, so it wouldn't it. be... Oh, no, Jonathan, well, if it's well, anti-semitic and racist, it's already illegal. Well, it, it, it still you can still find the material of that nature. Yes, and it's illegal and it should be it. taken down. And, why and it should, isn't, well, it isn't, though, is it? Why should legal uh, content taken be taken down? down? That's the problem. It, it doesn't get taken down. Yeah, that's but, that's, but that's a so different argument. It goes unchecked. But that's a different argument, isn't it? The argument that they should actually comply with the law is 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 a good argument, and they well, should do more. That you should do, as the, that you should use all the to tools at your disposal to take on this type of anti-Semitic content, and having this clear in an online safety bill, we think is an important way, an important additional tool. Okay, why should legal content be taken down? as opposed to illegal content. You've all, we've already known that we all agree, don't we, that illegal content should be taken down. Well, if there's harmful content... Mm -hmm. Who uh, decides? We do, we, do have a, um, uh, we do have a responsibility, I believe, in public life to ensure that the social media sphere is not causing people harm, because we do have had... Who decides? Not, it, it, we have had, well, the state always decides. No, no, like you're that. saying the social media, you're saying the social media companies should decide. Well, so, for instance, well, a trans woman, here's my, here's my statement. A trans woman is not a woman. A trans woman is a biological man. Many people, lots of Labour MPs, seem to think that that's an offensive statement. Should that be allowed online? Well, it's not for me to offer an opinion. You know, there will be Isn't proper it? guidelines. You're an elected member of Parliament. Place. It's not for me to offer an opinion on what's on, on, on that particular point that you've made there. But we know that there is harmful content, which has too often gone unchecked on social media, around glorifying perhaps um, self-harm, things of that nature, which adolescents have been able to, to access. That cannot be right, and we need to use whatever tools at our disposal okay. to deal with that. All right, again, we know that there are going to be more checks and what's, what under-18s can see. Let's also talk about China. The Prime Minister last well, night... Under-18s first... can get on it, can't they? That's the problem. They, they can they... easily the social media stuff. I mean, and... they get round all these checks like that. I mean, I've got a nine-year-old who got round all these social media checks by setting up her own TikTok account. And well, then she went well, on why my... Why has your nine-year-old got a mobile phone? Sorry? Why has your nine-year-old got a mobile phone? Well, she's got her own mobile phone, but she steals her parents' mobile phone. Well, why is your, your nine-year-old stealing your mobile phone? My, my child doesn't steal my phone, didn't have a mobile phone when she was nine. Well, I mean, you obviously live in a... You're, you're obviously better at looking after your mobile phone in your house than I am. Because it's called parenting, there, isn't it, Jonathan? Well, you're obviously a better parent than I am, I'm not. Julia. I'm not I'm saying you. that. I'm just saying there are... Um, uh, so look, let's... No. I want to get on. You. Well no. done, you for being a better parent than me. Well, I, I do but... try to be a good parent. Yes, I thought we were all supposed to do that. Well, I don't. Are. I don't allow my yeah. nine-year-old on social media. No, she wasn't allowed no, on any but... social media till thirteen. Well, no. well, neither was mine. But you know, she has stolen my phone from time to time. Do you want me to? Do you want me to come round and super nanny enough. your kids? I can sort I'll, that out I for you. I would love that actually. Yes. Seriously. Yes. Now there's a Channel Four show if everyone wants one. Yeah, yeah. Right. We'll sort that. Make, look, that, that, that would make better TV than Matt Hancock in the Jungle. Oh, that's for our house. That's for sure. <laughs> right. Two <laughs> more things. We've only, got, what's hit them. we've only got we've only got two minutes let's, let's race through china rishi sunak and china i just want to hear from you quickly what do you think he meant by saying that the golden era of uh, relations between uk and china are over well i mean uh, he, he, i think he's, he's right to say it but what what will that actually mean in practice i suspect very little frankly i mean i suspect okay. it's a sort of i can imagine sitting around with his speech writers thinking oh, what a great phrase but is he actually going to change any policy on it we'll see okay let's also get to what you're announcing today um the, uh, the work foundation think tank uh, that basically you're you're outlining plans to get britain back to work particularly for over 50s like myself and the long term at sick what help are you going to offer them well we know increasing numbers of people are out of work some for sickness and the the, be the bill the benefit bill for those out of work for health reasons and disabilities is going to go up by over eight billion pounds a year and yet many people up to 1.7 million people from ons surveys suggest that they would return to work with the right health and support now one of the problems of the system at the moment is we spend 20 billion pounds across 49 different schemes delivered by nine different departments and yet only one in ten disabled people or older people are getting any help to return to work so it's clearly not working so one of the proposals that we're putting forward is instead of the national contracting, let's give local areas who best understand their economic needs, they best understand the needs of Mansfield or, or Bolsover, give local areas 
the budgeting, the funding, the resources and tools to put in place the tailor-made schemes that are needed locally and are better and, and are better linked up with the local employers, the local local skills providers. So they can work out the best scheme to help people that suits a local economy. I mean, we do have a big issue with a lot of people leaving the workforce in the last few years who would otherwise be considered people who would be expected to work till their mid-60s and a bit, a bit longer who have left. That is going to be a real issue going forward, isn't it? Well, it is a real issue. Now, obviously, look, I just want to be clear, there be, some people can't work. But, but some people have taken early retirement and, you know, no one's forcing anybody. And equally, there'll be some people who are through disability or sickness simply cannot work. And if you're, and in those circumstances, of course you deserve security and dignity. But if you're one of these up to 1.7 million people who are asking for help to okay. return to work, then you should get that help. All right.